guys. Nice to see you again. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Who's excited? Ask me. Oh, you more excited than me? What did I think about that? So I can't wait. Today we're learning about food groups. That may be hard to pronounce because food groups, they're kind of the same, right? You might mistake food to fruits. You know what to say? Food, fruits, right? So remember, food, not fruits, okay? Food groups. So, what do you imagine? Okay, imagine. When, when you eat a veggie, you will have lots of vitamins. So let's begin a lesson to find out how many food groups are there. Maybe you could guess it, right? So there are five food groups. It's the first group is vegetables, fruit, protein, grain, and dairy. You know? So, let's find out each one by one. Starting with fruit. Fruit has a lot of vitamins. And, and like bananas, they, are, they have protein. They have protein so they could help. They have vitamin C, like, like strawberries will make everything, everything more beautiful. Like, you have clean, strong teeth. White, you know? Our next one is vegetables. Vegetables. So, they're not very, very, very colorful. They're very colorful. You can just pick up a fruit, but they're not sweet at all, right? You have to cook them up so they will be good. But I, you might not believe. So, so I already, so this one, I already told you, this one you might not believe. But the more color the fruits, the more better it will get. The more healthy it will get. If it's so good, it's a bright. For example, I have a carrot here. It's long, it's big, it is orange, it is shining very brightly. So, is that a good color? It's, it's a good color. So, like they said, if it's more colorful, colorful the better, you know, when they are more colorful. That means they're good to go. They're super good. No, no poisonous things in it, but they're very good. So when you eat it, your eyes will be so, so bright. And then you can see everything, even the tiny ant you can see, you know. So they are very colorful, you see. If there's more colorful, the better. Our next one is protein. Protein, protein helps the bones and, and blood so they can be so strong. They help the skeletons, muscles, and more, and blood. Now, they, they help our entire body and they'll give you more energy, like mine. I eat a lot of protein so that helps me run a lot, walk a lot, talk so much, and teach you all lots of important things. So, now grain. Grain. Grain, there are lots of things. They, they are bread, popcorn, and also, I forgot about this one about fruits. Is that, do you know the raisins are fruit too? Because they're dried grapes. Right? Pretty cool, hey? Huh? Really cool. You might, you might think that, ah, oh, raisins are made of other materials, not grapes. But they're dry grapes. You eat the dry grapes, right? You eat raisins as dry grapes. They get their name because they're dry grapes. So, we're talking about grain, right? Grain is like flour, flour, bread, popcorn, and also lots of other things else, a lot, not just these things, a lot, lot, lot more than you could imagine, okay? So, so now we're going to the dairy. Dairy has calcium. Calcium means like they'll make the tea bone stronger, you know? So, cal calcium also have vitamin D. And also, like cheese, yogurt, milk, like that, a carton of milk, when you drink it every day, all the calcium went everywhere in your body. Some people might, mm, some philosophers, like that, some wise philosophers in the older time says that, mm, says that, you remember the light princess story? They says that their blood is 
go the wrong way. That's funny. So that's not the problem. It's about calcium. Calcium is very important to our body. If we don't have calcium, our bones will be weak. And if we just if we just tap the table, the bones might break. That's really, really dangerous, right? And also, your teeth will be very bad. You may have cavities, and you will be always, always, always tired. So that you won't have anything more. You'll be very tired, and you will see that I have to be careful. And when you lean against the wall, the bones might break. That will be so silly, right? So calcium is important. You see now? So when you when you pick up a broccoli and make some notes of it like this, you I don't like it. I don't want to eat it. Just remember that fruits and vegetables and the fruit group have lots of vitamins, so you should eat it. Not with your face like this. Ugh. That's not very good, right? Well, there are more things that I want to say is that fruit groups are mostly about vitamins, you know? Not like the soda soda and other things that you eat. Popcorn, like popcorn. Popcorn is made by real corn. Not just like we put them in a pop candy and then it pops into a popcorn. So it's made by candy. It's unhealthy. But actually, popcorn is made out of real corn. They make, they make the oven hot, put some butter on it, and then it pops like that. So that's why it's in its name popcorn. And also, like soda, donuts, and milkshakes that we drink, there's no vitamin. They're just bad things in it. They're just very much, very, very, very lots of bad things in there. There's no vitamins. Not like vegetables, fruits, proteins, grains, or dairy, right? There's nothing in it. It's still like a plain old bar. And water don't have vitamins. Only these things. These things are made. They don't. And some people also put poison, poison toxic onto the vegetables and fruits, so that they could grow faster and be more delicious. But some of them could be too much, and they could be bad for your health, and you would die or get very sick. You know. So that's so. Did you enjoy our lesson today? So that's the end of our lesson today. So bye, guys.